I think we're live. Am I here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm, I'm losing my voice and I only have this much water left. I should have refilled my water when I went and got dinner, but I didn't because I'm an idiot. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome to, I think it is the last stream of the evening before the keynote. There is another session. I'm just going to direct you all there. There is a session at 9 p.m. by the right mama. And so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a short stream. And so actually, let me know in the comments. Here's my, here's my thinking, guys. Here's my thinking. Because this was supposed to... I'm filling in for a last minute cancellation, which is totally fine. Thank goodness it is not a cancellation on one of the sessions because I would not have been able to do that. Um, but because it is a sprint, I am definitely able to fill in. But the Right Mama session starts at nine. So what I'm thinking we do is we do an hour of sprints and then as many people as we can shuffle over to the Right Mama's channel um, for that. I will stay on and do a couple little sprints because the right mama, can you remind me, is your is your stream an hour or is it a half hour? Let me know. Actually, before we get into this, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> um, if your stream is supposed to be a half hour or an hour, because Savannah, who is the keynote, is happening at 10. So I'm just trying to plan out logistics. Just trying to plan out logistics here. Uh, so please forgive me. Um, but if the right mama, if your sprint is if your stream is an hour. Sorry, guys, this was this was a last minute switch. So I'm just still trying to figure it out. The right mama, let me know how long you're going for. And then we'll figure out whether how we're how we're all shuffling over and such. All right. Welcome, everybody, to my writing sprint. We may have um, some guest stars this evening. We may not. It depends. <laughs> but let's see who is here. So let's write some stuff is here at 1 a.m. I thought I thought we said that you should go to sleep, but you know, 1 a.m. And if you're choosing to stay up, we are happy to have you here. Devin is here as well. Devin, my fellow Canadian, welcome. I'm actually in the Toronto area this weekend. Alley Cat is here. RP is here as well. G is here. Shan Curdy is here. Welcome. DL Stewart is here. I've got to do go do some chores, but I'll be back in a bit. Um, speaking of chores, this is not a chore. And I'm not going to show you because it's gross, but it's sitting next to me, just so everybody knows. If people want proof of concept, it's there. I will show it to you, but it's gross because it's half eaten. It wasn't a chore, but I went upstairs. I'm currently at my parents' house um, just visiting them because Quebec laxed, not laxed, but Quebec um, loosened their quarantine stuff right now. So I came and I've been here for a few weeks, social distancing, all that jazz, all good. My parents are in Toronto, but I just went upstairs because they had made dinner to get dinner between the world building discussion and then this sprint. And they were like, oh, we have pizza. No, well, we made burgers, but somebody, I don't know, some, one of their friends brought like pizza over and like left it for them. I'm, I'm not really sure the logistics of it all. But it was a very thin crust pizza. And I was like, I could have a slice of pizza and I could have a burger. Or I could put the pizza on the burger and like, poof. anyway, so that's what I did. Not chores, but I got dinner and I invented a pizza burger. I'm sure people have done it before in the past, but I am very much enjoying it. And I'm going to spend my first sprint writing and eating. Allie is saying hi to everyone and how's it going? Fandom Girl is here. Welcome. Author Jesse Elliott is here as well. I've written 2.5K words today and need 2.5 more. That is awesome. We love 5K days. 5K Saturday. Yay. That is super lame. Don't ever let me do that again. Um, okay. After a day of doing nothing, I'm ready to write. Why is my brain like this? I think my, my brain's the same. Veronica is here. Kristen is here. Yes. Long time no see. I haven't even gotten close to that yet, but I'll try to get 2K for the day at least. That is awesome. That is me. We'll ignore that. Ign ignore this person. Who are they even? RP is here. Zara is here. Ali is here. 
The Right Mama is here. Yay. Yes, The Right Mama has a session in an hour. Everybody is so excited. Woo. Better step up my spelling game. <laughs> Sarah says that's so cool to Jesse that um, she's doing a 5K day. The right mama, so I want to be at your session, but it's 1 a.m. at the moment, and I really don't know if I'll wake. I'll be awake then. Come in. It's fine. The camera won't see you. This is my sister's room. I'm just going to cover the mirror with my head because she's in the room. <laughs> um, anyway, so yes. Uh, yeah, the right mama session is at 9 p.m. EST RP. I know it's 1 a.m. at the moment where you are, but all the replays are going to be available. So I would highly, highly suggest following AuthorTube Retreats, subscribing to that channel, um, because all of the replays are going to be there. Excuse me. I have a burp from my burger pizza. Everybody's just saying hi. I feel that my laptop is acting real weird. Absolutely no worries if you can do it up. If you can't, there's always the rewatch. Yes, for sure. I had the Keelan curse a few minutes ago where my internet cut out. Oh yeah, for anybody who wasn't on my last my last stream, it was on Sarah Labratt's channel. Also, side note, if you're not already subscribed to Sarah Labratt, you should be because her vlogs are the bomb. If you're into writing vlogs, she's the she's your gal. Um, but I my internet cut out, like my home internet cut out. And so I actually had to purchase high speed internet from my um, cellular provider. So that that happened. I will of course go to the rewatch if I can make it, yay. For those who can make it, pour yourself a choice of beverage and join. Oh my God. Yes, I wanted to have a glass of wine for this sprint. I seriously think I might pull an all-nighter. Well, you know, just, oh, Siri thinks, when I say seriously, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. She's she's a needy little one. I seriously think I might pull an all-nighter. Um, I said it, Siri, stop. This chick, this chick. <laughs> but like, let's write some stuff back. I blank think I might pull an all-nighter. Just get some sleep. If you, if you so choose, if you choose to pull an all-nighter, I'm not going to make you, but I'm also not going to stop you. The Right Mama, you and Sarah Labratt are the reason I started my own author tube. So I really wanted to make sure that I was at your streams. Oh, that is amazing. RP, first of all, amazing that you're on author tube. And second of all, yes, The Right Mama and Sarah are awesome. And you discovered me too. Yay, that's so great. Everybody's excited for the live. Um, okay. Hello, how is everybody? Sherry says, Sherry or Shuri? I'm not sure. Which do you prefer? The right mama says, woot, woot. Yay, everybody's saying hi. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh my God, I'm so behind, guys. Sounds good. Boom. It's 30 minutes, give or take a few. Okay, so here's what we're going to do because the streams, the way the day was organized was so that there was kind of going to be writing streams and sessions happening. Um, we are going to, you know what? We're all just going to shuffle over to the Right Mama's channel uh, at, at time. I look like a little boy. My sister's in her room and she said, she just said she looks like a little boy. <laughs> That's why I turned around. Um, yeah, so we're going to shut it down here at nine or we're going to take a pause and then maybe start back up. I don't know. I, but I, everyone should go to the right mama's channel to watch. I can always chat a little more if need be. Uh, yeah, no, no worries. I think maybe if we, I think the logistics of this is I'll just end the stream. We'll go to your stream and then we'll go to Savannah's stream. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be beautiful. Uh oh, my girls are still awake. Let me calm their little butts down and then get ready for tonight. Enjoy, guys, and see some of you later. Yes, see you later for sure. Sankurti it says it's 8.08 .08 in the morning here. Perfect timing. We tried to get streams all throughout the day and sessions all throughout the day so people from all over the world would be able to at least make part of the event. 
Kimberly is here. Right. Holly Davis is here. Zoe Wrights is also here. Weirdo Wrights is here. Just hopped over. Super excited with where I'm at in the story right now. I'm in the Toronto area every weekend. Sweet. Ah, Devin. Yay. Go to you. Eva is here. Michelle is here. G is here. Pizza and burger for di pizza burger for dinner. That is exactly what I'm having. I want to try that. That sounds really good. You have to do it with a thin crust pizza though, because I feel like a thick crust pizza wouldn't be that good. I used to put grape jelly on my cheeseburgers. That is not something I've heard of, but like, okay, to each their own. Haven't done it in years. Kind of want to do it now. <laughs> yes. Why not? Sometimes though, it surprises you. You try something you really liked as a kid and you're like, wait, what is this? <laughs> Working on the horror dark fantasy novel. Oh, Sherry's horror dark fantasy sounds so cool. My sister is adding her commentary because she is in her room and she said, what did you say? Vanilla icing on a hot dog. Vanilla icing on a microwavable hot dog with the with or without the bun. Without the bun. When you say everybody is just saying hi, my brother said hi, he can't even hear you. I just thought it was perfect timing. Oh, that's so funny. I subbed to the retreat chama. I subbed to the retreat. Oh, I can't speak. I, I am sub to the retreat, retreat channel. No drama. I'll be there for the replays. No dramas. I'll be there for the replays. Perfect. Everybody's saying, I forget. I don't know what this is to. <laughs> I've got my wine. Lol, you set me off too. I am not sure. Oh, is this the pizza burger? Keelan is very, Keelan is very for people sleeping. Oh, yes, I am very for people sleeping. I made Kristen. Well, I didn't make Kristen. I encouraged Kristen to get some sleep. <laughs> Mandy Lynn inspired me with starting my channel. You were you were right the first time. I Cherie. OK, perfect. Dania, I hope I'm saying that correct, is here as well. That sounds bomb as fuck. I'm, I'm assuming this is my pizza burger. OK, so I am caught up on the comments. How long do we want to go for for the first sprint? Um, for those who were here this morning, we played a game called Spill or Quill. And for those who were here this morning, do you want to play it again or do you just want to do normal writing sprints? I'll leave that to you guys. I know it's not a burger, but I started putting a cheese slice and ketchup on my chicken sandwich. That basically makes it a chicken burger, no? My hot damn was to you needing to buy high speed internet. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's because I'm already like, I have Rogers unlimited data on my phone and I was already out of it um, for the month for the, that was so loud. I was already out of the high speed version. And so they knock you down a peg and it's like, you can still watch video, but you can't stream. So that's why I did it. Okay. I've been thinking about making my own author tube. Veronica, you definitely should. It's super fun. Kimberly Schwartz says 2222 for the first sprint. I say we go for that. I've heard this isn't too unpopular, but cucumber and ketchup. Ooh, that does not. Mm -mm. I don't like ketchup. And sorry, if you hear noise in the background, it's my sister giving her commentary on the stream. But it's okay. She's cleaning the room around me right now, and it smells really good. So I'm into it. She's cleansing it. Sorry. Kimberly says, yes, let's play. Okay. For those of you who don't know what spill and quill is, everybody is down for spill and quill. It is basically truth or dare. I just changed. Let's be real. I just changed the title of truth or dare. So everybody in the comments is going to either pick spill or quill. And if you want to do your writing sprint just the regular way, you have to spill something. So you have to spill. And if you don't choose spill and you choose quill, you're going to get a writing challenge and you have to do that writing challenge for the sprint. So that is how it works. Hopefully I explained that properly. I am going to keep going down um, just to see all the times and the spill and quill. I love the game, but I need to do a lot of writing. So I'd be okay with not doing the game. Zara, that just means you have to spill. <laughs> Let's get the game on the go. You know, you want to. Okay. Everybody is down for spill and quill. Okay. Okay. So I hope I explained that really quickly. 
If you want to just write your scene and not have to do the writing prompt, you kind of have to pick Spill. And if you want to do a writing prompt, pick Quill. All right, so everybody, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to pick Spill or Quill in the comment. Everybody needs to tell me right now whether they want to Spill or Quill. Oh my God, everybody wants to Spill. I'm fully part of the Spiller Quill Appreciation Society and really wish this game is brought forward into an author tube challenge. <laughs> yeah, I hope it is too. I mean, I think it's fun. People should do writing sprints like this from now on. Ooh, we have a lot of quills. In the morning, people were really not into the quill, um, but now they are. Spill, truth, or quill, dare, writing slash book is related. Eva, great summary because I blabbered on for that. Spill because I'm clumsy. Quill, 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 spill, spill. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all these, but everybody's got their decision. I'll be brave next sprints. Okay, so for the spills out there, no, that's a quill. For the spills out there, oh shit, I didn't say what I'm picking. I'm picking spill, because I only went quill this morning. <laughs> My sister is the studio audience. One second, I'm gonna, one second, I'm gonna. Never mind. I'm not going to show her. <laughs> she was sitting on her bed as the studio audience. Say hi, Mish. Hi. Mish, do you pick spill or quill? Truth or dare? What's, Never what's mind. You're, she's taking spill. too long. Truth. This one's lame. I pick truth. Okay. A book you dislike that everybody loves. That is the spill. You have to spill a book you dislike that everybody loves. So I am going to say, oh, that's a good one. I dislike that everybody loves. Whew. I'm not gonna, okay, I don't dislike it. Don't get me wrong, I don't dislike it, but I like it a lot less than the hype. And that is The Cruel Prince. I did not like the first half of The Cruel Prince. The second half was really good and that's where the book redeemed itself. I thought Holly Black's writing was beautiful. I just thought the first half was too juvenile for me. But the Wicked King, that was my shit. That is my spill for a book you dislike that everybody loves. A book you dislike that everybody loves. All right. I am gonna continue. My sister's also thinking about her spill. <laughs> um, my problem is I like every book that everybody dislikes. Yeah, it's true. My sister just said that she likes every book everybody dislikes. Okay, I don't know. I just chose something random. <laughs> spill, I'm editing an essay for a student. I vote that Keelan nominates an author tuber to pick a specific spill or specific quill question. And then when they do it, they nominate and pass it on. Ooh, that would be a really good one. I feel like we need more time, but maybe we can do that for the last one. I could never get into The Hobbit. Ooh, that's a good one. I liked The Hobbit. Me too. I don't my sister agrees. She also didn't like The Hobbit. That's her spill. I don't like Twilight anymore, but a lot of people don't really like it. I really don't like Cassandra Clare. Okay. Holden Caulfield sucks egg. I don't know. What the, I don't know what that is. Sorry. Spill anything by Nicholas Sparks. Ooh, spill Game of Thrones and Twilight. The Hobbit. Ooh, this is a good dish. This is juicy, everyone, because these are books that people love. Um, but everybody has the right to their own opinion. Not going to judge. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I don't dislike it, but I believe it's way overhyped. That is a recent book, right? Okay. And so while we're doing that, while everybody's spilling, I'm going to get the writing sprint set up. And the quill. No, that one's lame. Oh, the quill is good. This, okay. Well, the second quill I pilled is good. I wrote these very quickly earlier. So um, the second quill is write about a pet peeve. So it can be in your current story or you can do a flash fiction about a pet peeve, but it has to be a pet peeve of yours and you have to include it in the scene. And then at the end of the sprint, tell us how you incorporated it as per usual. Um, and okay, not a fan of Twilight, Percy Jackson. I tried to read The Notebook, but it never worked out for me. The Female of Species, 1984. Is your sister older or younger? She is four years younger than me. Uh, the Hobbit. A lot of people not about The Hobbit, eh? Even though I didn't choose Spill, I didn't like Twilight either. I never understood The Notebook movie and the book version. I took a course on Lord of the Rings. Damn. 
My sister also took a course on Lord of the Rings. Oh, sorry. It had a section for Lord of the Rings. Allison is here. Hello. Welcome. Can I change mine to Quill? Because I can't really think of a good answer for a spell. Yes, you can change yours for Quill. If you can't spill, then you can Quill. Um, okay. I think I'm going to try to sleep now. Bye, everyone. And thanks for all the sprints and sessions today. Let, let's write some stuff. It was so great having you. Have a good sleep. And I am going to put the banner up. We're going to do, so we can get two sprints in, we're going to do a 15 minute sprint. Sorry guys, I'm overruling everybody's time suggestions, um, but I want to be able to get everybody over to the Right Mama's channel. So we're gonna do 15 minutes and I'm going to get the timer up right now. And guys, I'm so sorry, I'm going to be eating during this sprint. So like, maybe I'll turn off my screen so you don't just see me chowing down on a burger. Yeah, of course, I turn off the mic all the uh -huh. time. Sorry, again, any commentary you hear is my sister in the background. Sorry. It's okay, people like your commentary. Okay. Do we like Michelle's commentary? I like Michelle's commentary. <laughs> She's like the studio audience and I, I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, everybody, pens at the ready. For those doing Quill, you are writing about a pet peeve and for those who aren't doing Quill, you can go ahead and do it anyway if you so choose. Pens at the ready, everybody. We are going to get started in three, three, one. That makes no sense. Sorry. Three, two, one. Happy writing, everyone.
All right, everybody, that is time. One second, that's really annoying. All right, so how did everybody do? How did my quill people do? I chose spill so I could do whatever I wanted. Um, and I decided to update the author tube retreats. I didn't write. Um, I actually, that's a lie. I wrote 14 words and I updated the author tube retreats social media. I checked on making sure that the feedback form was still up and running, which I probably should have done that earlier in the day. And I did, but I just wanted to make sure everything was still going. My sister's in the background picking a pimple. We had a discussion about our eyebrows and what we wished our eyebrows looked like. It was a very produ productive sprint. And sorry, she wasn't picking a pimple. She was looking at her teeth, apparently. Misha's distracting though. Sorry. <laughs> I am in her room. She's been kind enough to let me use her room all day because um, the internet on the main floor of our house is non-existent. And even down here, you guys know my internet crashed and I'm using my data now. So, all right. How did everybody do though? How did everybody feel about the quill? What was your quill that you used? Like what was your pet peeve? That was the prompt. Let us know. Let us know. All right. I see some comments rolling in. Oh, Jasmine's here. Hello. We're doing well. Welcome. Shankurti says two and a half pages of dialogue handwritten. I can't handwrite. I get a cramp just thinking about it. So that is awesome. Life with Layla got 463. Zara got 165 and finished revising another chapter. Finished one earlier today. I saw you touching your eyebrows during the sprint lol. <laughs> yeah, I was we were talking about our eyebrows because I was I was saying I wish my eyebrow was just like a little more like this. <laughs> anyway, so we were talking about our eyebrows. Um, author Jesse Elliott says, I got 188 words, not great, but I also placed an online order for wine. That is the most productive thing you could do right now. I have an empty LCBO bag right here. Zoe got 384 words, managed to incorporate the pet peeve of someone loudly chewing food into a fight scene. That is so good. I love that. I love that. I love that. RP Lenny got 2,304 words. That is crazy for the, I wish RP, I wish I could type as fast as you because that is amazing. Well, to author Jelliot, uh, Jelliot, Jesse Elliot. I'm so sorry. I literally skipped your entire first name and put the J on your last name. Jesse Elliot. Zara is laughing at the fact that you ordered wine online. Also my browser goes, oh, thank you. Yeah, we were just, Michelle, I don't know. We were just talking about brows or I brought up brows because I saw I'm using, Michelle has a ring light mirror that I'm using, my sister, to get light on my face. And I looked up and it's like very good to see your makeup. And I was like, there's an error here. And she's laughing at me. Allison says, pretty good. I wrote like half a scene and then planned out two more scenes, which is fantastic. Seriously, what Jesse said, your eyebrows are professional. Thanks, guys. They're not real. Like I um, fill them in. I, I have real eyebrows, but I do put, um, I use eyeshadow actually just to fill them in. Wrote 113 words, which is amazing. Kimberly edited 1,162 words, and now I'm going to find some people to read my short story over. That's so exciting. If anyone wants to read Kimberly's short story over, let her know. Also, also, is this the short story? Sorry, one second. One second, Kimberly. Is this? Is this the short story that you put in your stories that you just finished? Because I saw that. I saw that story. I just saw that story that you just finished your first ever short story, which is amazing. Everybody, um, congrats to Kim. That is huge. Came in with 10 minutes left and wrote over 300 words, wrote 300 on the dot. Also, has the secret word been revealed yet? Oh, my God, guys, I have to make one up. The secret word has not been revealed yet because this is a last minute addition to the streams. So um, the secret word is going to be eyebrows because we just spent the past couple minutes talking about my eyebrows. That is the official secret word for the stream. It is now eyebrows. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to put that on a banner so I don't forget it. But yes, this was a last minute thing. So I am sorry I didn't think of a better one, but that is what it's going to be. And I'm just making sure eyebrows is one word and not two. Thanks, Mish. And we're going to, one second, I'm going to put secret word on it. I would double check though because I'm not sure. All right. The secret word is eyebrows, officially. It's officially eyebrows. Kristen finished editing 1,200 words of an essay for a student, which is amazing. Susanna's pet peeve is Jack, which... Susanna's pet peeve is Jack, which is her ex, which is also someone she's running against for president. He tries to make her life miserable for her. I love how her pet peeve is a person. It's just him in general. Fandom Girl wrote 205 words. Eyebrows might be the secret word. Devin called it. Devin, you nailed it. Oh, my God. I didn't even. Okay. I didn't see that comment. And I had no plan for eyebrows to be the secret word. Crushed it, Devin. Crushed it. Weirdo writes got 414, which cannot be right for me at least. That is amazing. 414 words is huge. Mary edited about half of a concert scene, which is fabulous. Alley Cat got 300, 300, 263 words. Ah, Michelle, yes. My sister does have a great name. I really enjoy the name Michelle. And uh, yeah, I, yeah. There's, an, there's a Michelle on, my, on, on the live stream right now, Mish. She says, aw, I don't know if you can hear that because my mic kind of sometimes can cancel out back around noise. Uh, Dania's pet peeve for the book was a pet peeve for my book was Barbie clone. Oh, cool. Hello, Sharon. Welcome. I Thank you for coming to say hi. Oh, I actually had to check something real quick. Sorry, guys. A little distracted. A little bit distracted. We're good. Um. I'll read it when I can. My numbers aren't that exciting to me, really, as I can actually, as I only actually about write two days a week. But still, you must get a lot of words in in those two days. Okay, I'm catching up. I finished it, and now I want someone to look it over. The short story, which is amazing. Everybody's saying congrats. I guess the secret word before it was said, Devin, I know, you crushed it. That's like the most mind-blowing thing. If you want to read it, if you want to read it, email me. Oh, send Kimberly an email if you want to read um, the short story. That's amazing. I thought it would be fun to have her as a pet peeve. <laughs> I didn't write about it, but a random pet peeve of mine is is plug switches that are left on with nothing plugged in, like the like the bars with the little plugs or the plugs on the walls with the little. Some of them have like switch things. Dan Dania, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, says congrats. My mom dropped in to say hi and says you're beautiful. Oh, Shankurti, that's so nice. Tell your mom thank you. That is so cute. I love, I love parents. I love cute parents. They're so adorable. Um, my sister is not going to drop in and tell me I'm beautiful, so I'll take it where I can get it. Beautiful. That was so unenthusiastic if you heard it from her. <laughs> Um, Alley Cat also says congrats. All right, guys, another sprint. Spill or spill or quill. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna give y'all 20 seconds to say spill or quill. 20 seconds is a long time. We're like five seconds. Everybody choose real quick. Spill or quill. Let's go. I'm going to pick spill again because I have some social media stuff to do for the retreat. So that is what I will be doing um, for this sprint. And then, and I'm just literally checking right now because I have a whole bunch of messages. Um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of messages. Sorry, I was just started responding to them um, for the author tube retreats and such. And I just want to keep the momentum going and keep things sharing because Savannah's going to have a dope keynote. The Right Mama is going to have an amazing session. And I just want to make sure that everybody can go to those sessions and have a really great time. So, let us see how it is going. Plugs as in power sockets and walls. Yeah, that's what I thought. She says, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> that's so nice. That's so sweet. Okay, everybody's coming in with their spills and quills. 
spill, spill. So the next video is in eight minutes. It's in eight minutes. Oh no. So what we're going to do, I'm going to say the spill and the quill and we're going to do a five minute sprint. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. The quill is write us a poem. This is the quill. If you got quill, you're writing a poem. And if you got spill, you are. And everybody do this in the comments, guys. So we're going to do a five minute sprint and quills have to write a poem and spills have to say, Ooh, if you could be friends with or date in brackets, a fictional character, who would it be and why? If you could be friends with or date a fictional character, who would it be and why? And then the quill is write us a poem. So I'm going to change the banner and we are going to do a five minute sprint because I want everybody to be able to go to the right mama's channel. Um, we had today a sprint stream and a session stream, but, and they overlapped because people could like choose throughout the day, which they wanted to go to. Cause we didn't have, like, we only had one day. And so we had to fit all the content in one day. So we tried to make sure none of the sessions overlapped and we tried to make sure none of the streams overlapped, but they did overlap with one another because they were two different, like, um, paths essentially you could take and obviously you could jump over and join whichever ones you wanted um but this one was supposed to go until 10 p.m but i'm a last minute fill in and i think it'll be really good if we all go to the right mamas and then we all go to the um and then we all go to the savannas because i mean i think one of the things that i've seen in the comments today um just is people want to be at the live sessions and they also want to be at the live sprints so, you know, for future retreats, we probably are going to have to put the retreat over two days to make sure we get everything in. Um, however, TBD, guys, fill out the feedback form with the secret words. Remember, secret word for this session is eyebrow, eyebrows. Um, fill in the secret words because those are your chances to win a $15 Amazon gift card for anybody who hasn't been to any of the other se sessions. You collect the secret word at the session. When you're done the retreat for the day, you go to the feedback form, you give us your feedback, you put in your secret words, and every single secret word is an is an entry to win one of four Amazon gift cards. So that is what you do. Um, and it's all linked in the description below. We are going to do a five-minute sprint. I've got the timer up. End things off. And then we're all going to ship over to the Right Mama's channel because I think that'll be super duper fun. And oh, shit. My sister is like so ready to tell you who she would date, the fictional character. I'll put the spill and the quill in the comments. But pens at the ready, everybody. We are going to start the sprint in three, two, one. Happy writing, everyone.
All right, everybody, that is time. So let's get into it. I'm going to go super fast lightning speed so we can all get over to the right mama's channel. Zara would be friends with Hermione Granger because she's magical and brilliant. Does fictional character have to be a book character? No. Great question. I should have answered that earlier. Can my characters count as dating fictional characters? Yeah, 100%. If your characters are fictional, that works. Hermione or Luna? Yes, for sure. Draco Malfoy. I was, I, yeah, I get that. Totally get that. Well, I wouldn't want to be friends with Robert Langdon. As awesome as he is, all his friends end up kidnapped or killed or the bad guy. It's so true. All right. Annabeth Chase as best friends. Hermione is badass and would help me with school. And I love Luna's confidence. That is so great. I hope you don't mind if I send an email too. Everybody's emailing Kim for the short story. Oh, I love this one. I would absolutely date my main, my character, Bobby Dean. I love that name because he is adorable. I've had a crush on him since I invented him back when I was a kid. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, Michelle, come on. Come on. This is Michelle's. Into the mic. Oh, okay. Damon Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries, Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey, and Edward Cullen from Twilight. Those are my three. Though I didn't <laughs> expect anything different. Those are my three. I with all of them. is featuring Michelle and her, her loves. She heard the question and she almost like yelled out. Friends with Sam or Evie from the um, Diviners. Diviner, diviners? I'm sorry. I di I'm like looking at that word and I can't figure out how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. I don't know the show. I try not to think about this too much because it makes me sad that they're fictional. I agree. I agree. My love. Um, obviously, I love my boyfriend. He won't take any offense to this, though, hopefully. <laughs> but I have always and forever loved Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. So, you know. I would be friends with Ronan Lynch because he has such a personality and I think he would be fun to be around. How did everybody do? Jasmine asks. I'm assuming on that that's on the sprint. Also would love to date my wizard character, Mark Christensen. Yes, for sure. Love a good wizard character. I am just on the Right Mama's channel. The Right Mama has started her stream so everybody, we can go and jump over there. I'm going to get through the rest of these comments, but please feel free to start shuffling over. The link is in the description box um, down below, and I'll also post it on the comments once I catch up. On Google Docs, does anybody know a way to make it automatically? Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't freaking know who I would date. I'm just saying the first person that comes to mind, Loki. I wouldn't even date him or other characters, but a random name. I love the name Loki. I'll be friends with a whole group of guys from the outsiders that might be cheating, but oh well. You can be from a group of fictional characters is fine. Um, I'm not sure what that's to. Maxin from the selection series or Julian Blackthorne from TDA, two very different characters, but I love them both so much. I'm not really sure if there is an option or not. I'm sorry, I don't know what that's to. I'm trying to go through these really fast, so I apologize if I miss yours or anything. A bit from short story slash poem. Okay, so this is, we're getting into the poems, the end of the sprint, I love it. Do you truly understand dreaming? Why do you dream? Why we die without sleep? Why would we die without sleep? How long did we go without sleep? Is it sleep? Is sleeping dangerous? I like that. It's super eerie. It gives you like a little bit of a like chill, um, but beautiful and like thoughtful. Didn't write anything. Well, <laughs> my dear friend, so tried and true. Oh, we got to know a pro another poem. My dear friend, so tried and true. I know a truth I keep from you. Your hair, my night, your smile, your hair, my night, my smile, my day, your smile, my day. I see you again each night. I pray. This truth unknown, I can't say. My heart is yours forever and a day. I'm not frozen. That end line just crushed me. That was so great. Formatting got screwy at the end, lol. I still got it. Love it. Day is breaking and birds are singing. Wonder what we do today. Now back to sleep. 
an older poem, but wanted to share. It's beautiful. I Anything with day breaking and like you, the feeling of when you wake up with birds chirping is just such a like, you just feel part of the world, if that makes sense. Even if you like hate it, you still feel part of the world. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. We got to, okay, yes. Probably Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. Damon um, or Cheryl Blossom from Riverdale. I like Cheryl too. I will keep it for my MC's love confession. That is amazing in your story. I guess for my personal character, I would want to date my character, John. He's nice, innocent, and usually pretty happy and makes people laugh and smile. Damon was written before Edward and Christian... Damon was written before Edward and Christian was based on Edward. Oh, and Christian was based on Edward. Yeah, Christian was based on Edward for sure. Yeah, she knows that. <laughs> um, it's very typical. I, I, I could have, I could have like said I. We went to Comic Con together, and she met Ian Summerholden or whatever his last name is, and like asked him a question. Lol, yes, I thought I was the only one who had a crush on Vegeta. Yes, Zoe, I love it. I used to write Vegeta and Bulma fan fiction. My sister's yelling Simba in the background. She used to have a crush on Simba when she was a kid, but didn't we all? Gonna head to the right, Mama. Probs be in bed after that. Thanks for today. No problem, everybody. I'm at the end of the comments. I mean, Loki from Marvel wasn't sure if you thought it was my character or not. I thought it was Loki from Marvel, and then I actually wasn't sure. Yes, and the weird writes that weirdo writes that was a great poem. Okay, guys, the right mama is having their session right now. Everybody shuffle on over there. I am going to copy this down in the comments. I am so sorry that this was so rushed and so hectic on my end, but it's all good. We're here. We made it. We filled in the missing sprint and yeah, we didn't miss a sprint and so sorry. Again, it was only an hour instead of two, but um, kind of did this last minute and then also we want to make sure we get all the sessions in. Please remember the secret word, eyebrows, fill in the feedback form. It'll be linked in the comments below or in the description box below. And we are just super excited about this retreat. Your feedback is so important. And like, I encourage you to be critical because we want this to be something that continues into the future and something that is super successful and that really helps everybody. So please, please, please feel free to, you know, give us your honest feedback. Um, on that note, you do have to, if you want to enter the giveaway, you do have to enter your, like it does ask for your email, but I'm just trying to tell you now that like, even though you have to put your email, like we want your critical feedback about what we could do better. So please go in, fill that out, put in the secret words and hop on over to the right mama's channel. And then the end keynote is at 10 PM EST on Savannah's channel. It's all linked below. We're going to have a great time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and I'm going to end the broadcast now so we can all hop over, but yes, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you so much. And we'll do a spilling quill session again sometime later. All right. Bye everyone.